What's happening, folks of the interwebs? It's Pete with Backdraft Barbecue, and I'm here with an excellent recipe on the big green egg, Kalbi, or barbecue short ribs from Korea. Stick around. So many of you have had uh, short ribs on the, on the smoker, big green egg, Kamado, whatever you're using. And uh, they're, they're delicious, right? They come in these cubes like this when you buy them. And uh, they take, you know, typically right around four hours to smoke if you wanna do it the right way. However, I'm gonna show you a four to six minute cook that will actually blow your mind. Let's get started first with the marinade we wanna go with these. This is, this is a very simple marinade and there's more ingredients that you can use if you like, but I, we're just gonna use some basic ones. I've shredded some uh, fresh ginger. We're gonna put that in there. And uh, we're gonna take soy sauce and we're gonna go with a cup of soy sauce. We're gonna go with some fish sauce. And again, I'm not using like approximate measurements here, but you wanna go with like a teaspoon of it or so. You want some garlic in there. Garlic is the um, one of the trinities of the Korean barbecue flavor. So you put a little of that in there. And then finally, you wanna go with like a cup of brown sugar. So I've got that pre-measured in this bag. Once you have all those ingredients in here, you wanna whisk them up really good and get everything dissolved. Now, just a note, there is a few other ingredients you could put in there, such as scallions, which I would highly recommend. I couldn't find any, they were out of season right now. Uh, there's also other ingredients people put in. Uh, sake is very good in there, a little rice wine, uh, will add a tremendous pop to the sauce. Uh, also, many people chop up kiwis or pears and put them in because that helps with the tenderizing of the meat, but that's not necessary. And again, they were not in season right now. So we've got a very simple marinade. I think the majority of the flavor rests in the quality of the beef. I'm using some beef from a local farm. Uh, it's organically grass-fed and that is the key. So let me show you how you cut these. This is where uh, this recipe kind of gets different. First off, you wanna have a very sharp knife and not cut yourself. And again, as you remember, these short ribs come in uh, usually one or two bones per cube, right? You got your bone right here. And when you go to the Korean restaurants, they cut it this way, right? And you have a very long strip. But this is the way you can use these uh, for this recipe. What you're gonna do is you're gonna find, make sure there's only one bone. So we only have one bone here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our knife and laying this flat on the cutting board, we're going to cut along the edge of the bone till we get to about a quarter inch uh, of the uh, bone and the edge of the meat slab, right? Then we're gonna kinda fold it over and we're gonna cut this again. And then we're gonna fold it over again and we're gonna keep doing that, almost like unrolling a, a paper roll, paper towel roll. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow this to cook very quickly. What you wanna do with your knife is just quickly take it and make a few score marks on it. This is gonna allow the marinade to uh, absorb quickly. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this to all these bones. So stand by one. All right, I've got everything all cut up. I've flanked them all, as you can see just kind of cutting them. You want to take the rest of your marinade, okay, and just kind of drizzle it on top. And you're going to want to let this marinate for about four hours. It's not necessary to go a total four hours. If you got to cook them a little quicker, like we're going to do today, that's perfectly fine. But uh, it's good to, if you can let them, let them sit in the fridge for about four hours. See you in a couple minutes. Okay, so these have been marinating now for about three hours-ish. What we're gonna do is we're now gonna put them on. Now I'm using my mini because this thing gets up to temperature really, really hot. And it's kind of like the Korean barbecue flare. You would put this in the middle of the table and cook your meat as you go. Um, what you're gonna do, this is gonna cook really hot and really fast. We're gonna kind of rely on the, the searing technology. And remember the meat is cut very thin, so it's gonna cook fast. Uh, I, I ideally want this around 450. To, to put the meat on and maybe cook for two and a half to three minutes a side. So we got this baby rocking and rolling right now and we're just gonna reach in here and we're gonna grab some of these. 
you can see this meat has already taken on a beautiful color from the marinade and feel free to you know give it a little mini baptism before you stick it on it's going to caramelize really well and because there's a huge bone in here these are actually quite healthy to eat just like mommy used to make if your mom is korean and we're gonna lower that down and let her rip for about two and a half three minutes Okay, so we've got these, uh, they're, they've cooked now for two, three minutes on each side. As the Korean tradition is, you always use your scissors to cut, right? So they'll take them, uh, if you're at one of the places and they cut it up, into bite-sized pieces. And you can see it's a medium rare. That looks delicious. That's going to be, hey! You don't steal meat off the plate. What the heck? Mmm, yummy. So what do you do with this? Hold on, let me show you. Typically, you take the piece of lettuce, almost like a lettuce taco. You put a little rice in there, or kimchi if you had it. Put a little piece of meat on there. Oh, man. That's really good. I can taste the ginger. And the garlic in it, mmm. Awesome. Well, that's how you do it at your house for a fraction of the pr price. If you like the recipe, let me know down in the comments. And as always, be safe.